What's up, everyone? I just checked out the original Candyman for the first time. Uh, since we have the new Candyman coming out just around the corner, I figured it's a perfect time to review it. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the movie. Are you excited for the new Candyman movie we have coming out this week? And without further ado, let's get right into the review. So the original Candyman from 1992, I believe, is a movie, it's like a core classic I've just never had a chance to check out. It's a movie I've always wanted to see and I've always heard about and I've heard like, the, like say the Candyman five times in the mirror and he'll appear, stuff like that. I've always heard about it but I never had actually seen it um, until I finally got the Scream Factory edition and I actually got around to checking it out. So I was quite excited to do so and, I, and I'm glad I actually did get around to checking it out because I actually really enjoyed this movie. The whole concept itself of Candyman, you know, this guy that you say his name five times and he shows up and he kills you, that's a very cool concept and it's done perfectly in this movie. Like, I love the lore behind Candyman in this movie, like, um, like all the, like, backstory you get in this film and all this, like, culture around him and, like, how it affects society. That stuff's really cool. Um, it's explored very well in this movie and it's, they do such a good job with that and it's just definitely something you don't see a lot in horror movies, um, with horror movies being this deep. Um, and this movie is very in-depth and thought out um, with how it affects people and like the kind of the ideas that this concept would bring. And I think this movie does an amazing job at exploring that. And that alone makes this movie worth watching. Just like how see how they explore this concept of you know this like folktale type villain who will come and like, kill you. I think that's really cool. It's also very unique within the horror genre. It's something you don't see a lot. Definitely, def this is definitely a horror movie that stands out, especially when you combine it with like the bees and stuff like that. It's definitely a horror movie that's going to stand out to you, and it's definitely a horror movie you're going to remember, and that also is really good about this movie. Something that actually surprised me in this movie is that it was genuinely scary. Uh, I don't usually get scared during horror movies, especially during older slasher type movies. But this movie actually just had some great jump scares in the film that actually got me like the mirror sequence and stuff like that that are actually scary within the film. And they definitely, you know, will creep you out. And, the, and the, But the main scary part was just the creepy creepy imagery and the, the vibes this movie gave off as you're kind of getting like followed by someone who's trying to kill you. That stuff's really scary, especially to me. That's like the one thing in horror that like really scares me is like stalking and stuff like that. Um, and this movie really does a good job like that. Like the scene in the car parking lot was really, really, was really, really good. Um, and really scary. Candyman himself, played by Tony Todd, is really scary. Uh, he's just like, his image, his ill like image is very scary and very creepy and will definitely, you know, it'll definitely stick with you. And that definitely is like, in, in this one movie alone, he really becomes like this horror icon. Um, and he's, he's very like, He's scary, but he's also just a very enjoyable presence, like a classic slasher villain should be. Um, he's just you really enjoy his presence, um, and he's you know, he's he's someone you're gonna remember. Um, and he's very simple, you know. He's just a dude, but like you know, just like the hook and like the bees and stuff like that makes him very creepy. Um, you know, he doesn't have like a mask or anything. And the whole movie itself, like I said, was just pretty creepy throughout the entire film. It's definitely a movie that will stick with you in that regard. Um, the other aspect of this movie that really surprised me was the production quality of this movie was very high. Um, it's just like the special effects looked really good. The camera work was very good. The editing, um, the acting from Virginia Madsen and Tony Todd in the movie was very good. Um, it's just like the acting in general was very good. You know, it was like top level acting, you know, not, not typical, not typical for what you see in a kind of like B movie slasher, um, from the nineties. So it's, that was really cool to see this, like the, the production of this movie was so high and very competent. And that was definitely made the movie more enjoyable as well as like the score in this movie was really, really good. Probably one of the best horror scores I've ever heard. Um, it's just like. I can't think of another one I, I can compare it to, but it's just it was really good and added a lot of tension and um, emotion and kind of gave off the vibes of the film and it did you know what a good score should do that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that really worked for me and the, so like yeah, the production in this movie was really good and that definitely helped um, my enjoyment of the film. Not that I don't enjoy a movie that's kind of more cheaply made, but like you know when the movie feels good quality, you know th that's definitely going to increase your experience. The movie itself with the plot and the whole concept throughout the entire film is very intriguing. Like you start with Virginia Madsen's character who's kind of investigating Candyman and then she kind of gets involved with it and then she's getting chased by him. Um, that's The whole movie is you're on the edge of your seat really the entire film. I do think it's a little slow at moments kind of in the middle um, but for the most part the movie keeps moving forward throughout the entire film all building towards an ending. Um, which I'll get to the ending in a second but 
uh, all building towards that end. Um, and it's just the concept itself with Candyman and the mirrors and all that is very cool. Candyman is very creepy. He's a very enjoyable villain. Um, and like Virginia Madsen's very good in the movie as well. I already mentioned that. But um, like the whole time you're just intrigued by this concept. You're kind of just immersed in the lore of this movie and like um, the whole like, the Candyman lore and all that. And you get to see how it like in the, the culture of Candyman and stuff like that. Like in the apartment building and stuff. And then also obviously building towards the end you get more of that kind of stuff. I don't want to blatantly spoil the ending. And the ending itself I'm not going to like straight up spoil the ending if you haven't seen it. But the ending itself, I was fine with. I didn't think I didn't think it was a perfect ending to the movie. Um, it was a little weird, but um, at least it kind of it kind of went for it. I didn't it didn't like kind of half do something if that makes sense. Hard to talk about without spoiling it. But like I I enjoyed the ending enough. I think it was just fine. Um, it wasn't perfect, but I think I I, th I thought I thought it was fine. But overall, I really enjoyed Candyman from 1992. I thought this movie was a really good horror slasher kind of supernatural thriller type horror film, um, with some amazing imagery, some really strong imagery, um, amazing acting, amazing score, genuinely creepy scenes, and overall just a high quality horror film that I'm really glad I finally got around to checking out. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it yet. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure how it was going to hold up. Uh, me me watching it for the first time. The Scream Factory Edition is amazing. I did watch the theatrical cut. There is an unrated cut on there that I will check out soon. Um, but I only watched the theatrical cut today. Um, so, but overall, like I said, I thought Candyman was a really good film. Definitely worthy of the hype that it's gotten over the years. I had a great time with it. Um, it's a very enjoyable horror film. You know, it's the um, runtime relatively flies by. Um, yeah, like I said, it is a little slow at times. Um, but that, I thought that was fine. There's a lot of kind of world building throughout the film that really, you know, use up that time well, I thought. You know, while it does seem a little slow, they are using the time wisely. Um, and overall, just a really good horror slasher film. So I'm going to give Candyman a 4 out of 5 and an 87%. Just a really good horror film. Definitely worthy of the hype. I love the lore and the kind of the folklore behind Candyman and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. And explored very well. Very intriguing film. Anyways, that's going to do it for my review for Candyman, the original. Uh, I will be reviewing the new one coming soon. Um, probably next week. Um, I'm going on vacation, so it's going to be a little late. But I will be reviewing the new one at some point. Um, so I'm really excited to check that one out. Um, I'm very excited to kind of see what that has to offer the, to this franchise. I haven't seen any of the sequels either, obviously. You know, me seeing this one for the first time. I haven't seen the sequels. But I'm definitely excited to check out those at some point as well. I haven't heard great things about them, but, you know, whatever. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of Candyman. Are you excited for the new one? Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching if you stuck around to the end. And have a great day.